Ladies and nut jobs, welcome to another episode of Alcoholics Anonymous. With me, your local town drunk. Let us jump right in. To episode four of my In Sound Mind Let's Play. All right, this is where we left off. I think it is Alan's apartment, the second patient. We're trying to figure out what went wrong with that little rascal. Doc Wales told me to write, so I'm writing. Even though I don't want to write, what I want to do is scream at people. A woman by the lighthouse today told her meathead boyfriend I was looking at her funny. <laughs> and he punched me in the gut. I wish I could bury both of them in the ground. I'm so mad. I'm seeing red. Who says this? Something seeing red? Stops me from getting closer. What is this? There's unnatural darkness here. It's unnatural. <gasps> it's unnatural. Your mom is unnatural. Wait, I'm covering the... Oh, wait, where did I go? Oh, I'm back. Sweet Lord, I thought I was lost, but uh, then I wasn't. <laughs> How is this? Wait, what is, what is this? Why is this all weird? Ah! Oh no, I moved the whole wrong... I, I moved everything. Oh no, I screwed up everything. This needs to get out of here. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Sorry for this little intermezzo. I just messed up my record a little bit, my camera. I put it into another folder, which had like other elements on it, and everything moved along with it. All right, so we have to go and um, we have to listen to Alan's tape. What if we explore this part a little bit though, huh? What if we put our nose in everyone's butt? No, what if we put our nose in places where it doesn't belong? We do not want to put our nose in everyone's butt. That would be a little bit schmally. Oh. Dude, this is from a movie, right? Do you know which movie this is from? Is it like a Batman movie? Or if you know, then please comment in the comments. But also write what you're answering to, because I won't know by then. The TikTok reference was from... You know, from a porn movie. No, it wasn't from a porn movie. Oh my God, it just stopped calling me. Oh, now he's masturbating to me. We're, we're leaving. Bye. He's fapping to me. Are you fapping to me too? Oh my god. Sweet lord. I almost care. Have we tried all the doors? What is this? Pill popping boomer. We're a pill popping. And boomer. She. Pill pop and boom. Go downstairs. A little, little luck. Lucky luck. Look, looky look. Uh, let's ex explode those Let's explode those explosives I have 37 more bullets later maybe that should be fine 
<laughs> Excuse you. Excuse me. Excuse you. Well, I'm fast tonight. Last night, Milton Haveners welcomed the new year in style with a raucous party in the town square that included firework, line dancing, and lots of anal sex. At the top of the evening, oh no, and a musical performance by the town choir. At the top of the evening, Major Barry Vaughn gave his annual address. Thanks to big players like uh, Mayor Pharmaceuticals, <laughs> we love, we love Big Pharma. <laughs> Shut up. We don't love him. Reinvigorating our local market 1997 is going to be the best year yet, he declared to a cheering crowd of idiots. Remember when Big Pharma used to be the a-holes of the world and now everyone's worshipping them? Hmm. They have suddenly became good, like all the other corporations. They became our friends. Yay, friends. Fool. Sorry. Supposed to be lighthearted. Let me forget this again. I've never said this. We're doing lighthearted entertainment here. Bending over, lubing our butt cheeks up for corporations. Yes? <laughs> What year is it? Uh, what was it? N 1997? Nine, nine. I did it. Wait, that was the wrong. That was the wrong sound sample. What was it? You could you could mean it seriously, right? You could you, you have you I've been using it sarcastically so often. That I forgot that you can use it seriously. <laughs> Badoom touche. Yeah, but it's actually actually seriously, it's it's like a joke finisher sound. Never mind. Never mind. Later. Later. Yes, I'm aware of the light flickering in this section of the floor. It will be fixed when I can get a hold of our electrician Gary. Until then, please don't try and light the hall hallway yourself. No candles, no fires, no flare guns. Be patient. Superintendent. Get full. Wait, it's the darkness thing again. I hope this game doesn't turn into an Alan Wake. It's going to be a nightmare. It's an actual nightmare. It's blocked from the other side. Never want to play that game again. I'm I'm super good. One time. Would have been enough, but I played it two times. Because I thought it was better than I remembered. Again, the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. This is one. This is uh, the Virginia's? Virginia's apartment. We need to go to... Wait, why don't we just go to her apartment? Let's see. Let's do one last stop at her apartment. We couldn't go through this before. Oh, it's locked. We Nothing. need a key for this. Odd place for a mirror. Odd place for a mirror. Wait, there's some. Oh! Ah! Unagi! 7,000 IQ. I knew there were always stuff taped to these mirrors in the last chapter. Oh, we got a vinyl. Desmond, we spoke of running a Rorschach test. Have you done so before? No, but I've seen it in movies. You show me a picture and I say what it makes me feel. I show you an ink blot and you tell me what it might look like. Uh, shall we do a few? Sure. First image. A flower, but it's broken. Second image. A crowded auditorium. Third image. Two people fighting. Fourth image. What might this be? 
a monster with six arms like snakes. I'm sorry, I just sound incredibly, incredibly stupid. Not at all. There are no wrong answers, Virginia. How does this last ink blot make you feel? Powerful. This is how... That's how she looked in her final form when we beat her. With like a tentacles coming out from the bottom of her. Like a squid. Like Squidward. So that squid is everywhere too. We've seen that one before a couple of times. Maybe it's only Virginia related though. Like not the state, the woman, Virginia. Maybe we saw it just in the supermarket chapter, which would have been her chapter. All right, we need to go to the apartment before some crap starts spawning or to our, uh, to our office, I think. I think the office had the uh, cassette player, not the apartment. Yes, yes, room service. Uh, Alan Shore, the one-man freak show, who made all your other patients seem well-adjusted by comparison. From the first moment he stepped into your office, you knew he was doomed. Have fun. Oh, so we're on the craziest patient now. How many do we have? Five or something? Forgot. Well, Is hello. there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. I guess I'm about to find out. Be careful, Desmond. Yes, Daddy. I mean, Mommy. Oh, wait, it's a... Uh, Time for some music. Vinyl player. Oh, that's the wrong... Oh, it's... I wanted to fade in with the youngins. Boy, oh boy, I'm so in the mood for this emotional music. What? I stopped it. You want to hear the whole thing? It's my record player. Oh, time for some music. I don't have it anymore. Ah, this doesn't work. Did you put it in your ass again? What is up with those mannequins? <laughs> Alright, we got the next tape. Oh, Let's go. Sure, sure. Oh, she vanishes when we play this. Okay, now it changes the world into Alan's crazy reality. Stranger things have happened. Uh, yeah. Why is it always water with these guys?
Walter. Okay, Mr. Shore, tape's running. Thank you for agreeing to be recorded. Oh, um, should I just start talking? What do you want to know? Uh, what made you decide to seek counseling? Oh, man, Doc, it's, it's just weird. As in, I feel weird, like, like I'm weird all the time, you know? I'm not saying this right. People think I'm weird, and it's cool I am, but I, I shouldn't feel weird, right? I think if you feel weird, maybe you are weird. Which is fine sometimes, unless you're weird weird. Then it's not fine. You're too weird. How exactly do you feel weird? Off, odd, slightly tilted. I, I've had these nightmares. Ever since I can remember, I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. They recur. Man, like there are themes in them that keep coming back. And uh, honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shape my life around them, you know? Hello, weirdness, my old friend. Do 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 do. Have you ever seen anyone about these recurring nightmares? Like a shriek like you? No. Honestly, for the longest time I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark, frightful things. No, that's not normal. I mean, sometimes, I guess, but if you do this all the time, then it's kind of a weird. Get it? What is it that kind of weird, weird. See, see, that's the thing I don't get. My, my whole life, I could feel the presence of shadows. I could hear sorrow in the dark. It's poetic, man. I know. I, I got so used to being paralyzed by dread that I began to like it. And people notice, you know, I, I, I say weird stuff sometimes, I guess. At some point, I just decided to live comfortably in this reality, maintaining a beacon of light over a sea of darkness, alone and afraid. But I'd be lying if I didn't admit that it being swallowed by darkness or, or sinking in the depths. It makes me feel alive, man. It's electric. Horse cocks! Oh, sometimes I say weird stuff too. <laughs> Am I horsephobic? You be the judge. <laughs> There's so many things on this world that do not deserve to be taken seriously. Believe you me when I tell you. They just don't deserve it. Patmos Beach. The Patmos Beach. Look at you, Mr. Private Detective. What do you think is behind all this? Bigfoot? Aliens? Big bad government officials? Yeah, that, that, uh, that. Shed some light in the situation. Why don't you? Bigfoot. That has to be the most stupid theory ever. We are like giant barefooted creatures and nobody's ever have... No, nobody ever managed to take a picture of them. <laughs> but like, they're always like really horrible quality. Like the alien, like the UFO pictures. Yeah, I was hiking in the forest, you know, and then... Wait, there was someone walking. And then I saw this thing and I took a picture. Unfortunately, I have the shittiest camera ever on me, you know? Yeah, I had an iPhone 12, you know, but I didn't think of... taking a picture with it. I had my, my kid's Polaroid. 
which was made in the 1960s. Took a horrible picture. Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> now give me money. What is with the... With the trees? Is everything crashing? Wait, I need to see the sign first. Icarus. Icarus Woods. I'm playing Icarus. Survival game. Petmos Cove. Okay, if we go this way, I have to turn off the, the video and play something else. So, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh -huh. Icarus. That was actually a nice sinker and floater video. Enjoyed the game. You know what? I like when games do this. You know, you go all you go out of your way to walk to the end of the jetty and you get rewarded. That's what you should do. Not always, but most of the time. Reward people for exploring. It makes them happy and uh, as long as you don't give them garbage all the time, that's pointless. Like something that's a little bit useful. A little bit of ammo, you know. That's that's good game design in my opinion. In your mom's opinion. <laughs> I wonder if uh Oh no, no Medic! I touched the water. But we can shoot this. There we go. Would have been very disappointing if we couldn't have gotten in here. Had a little look. Fast tonight! We gotta go fast! Did you take your fast tonight today, son? Yes! Whoosh! Oh, he's gone already. He's really fast. Tonight. Who came with these? Who came up with these names? We're in the in the Icarus woods. Oh God, he's here too. Son of a bitch. In Greek mythology, Icarus flies too close to the sun and it kills him. I'll spare you the analogy. In our story. You're going to bring the sun to Alan, and the both of you will burn. Yeah, thanks for the uh, phone call. All right, uh, you are here. Oh, so we have to go right. We can go left and explore the lookout first. Go left. Shubi dooby doo. Go left. Shooby dooby doo, go left. Shooby dooby doo, go left. Shooby dooby doo. Oh no, there's one of these things, isn't there? It looks like there's probably more than one of these. Three. you sir screw you with a broomstick all the length the whole broomstick up yours
Oh, that's the lookout point. Perhaps when the sun lays its head upon a pillow of water and clouds respond in orange, in pink, you shall see the revelation as John did at Patmos. Anonymous. <laughs> So that's not a sunset, that's uh, the moon up. Yeah, that's like way later. Ha! Excuse me. Are we su supposed to um, find something through this? The moon. It's the moon over Bourbon Street. Okay, I'm not finding anything. <laughs> Oof! Excuse. Excuse. I took two towels instead of one. <laughs> Virgil County blackouts is the truth stranger than fiction. Column by Jorge Avalos. What else could it be but a high powered EMP? Says Lenny Crumb as he puts the final touches on a sign that reads Planet Home. Ugh. One of several homemade signs made by locals today at the extraterrestrials of Milton. B annual gathering. Theories and conspiracies could be heard at every turn as residents try to make sense of the recent sudden blackouts around the country. County. Looks, it probably, look, it probably malfunctions when they were. <laughs> Suddenly my nose is stuffed. It probably malfunctioned when the aliens approached Earth or they did it on purpose, says Lenny. This is far from the only speculation we've heard over the last few days, and it's important to note that it doesn't seem to be receiving much, if any, attention from other news sources. While this investigative journalist doesn't wish to raise any red flags, it can't help, I can't help but wonder what it is. Have we finally stumbled upon a real conspiracy, one that is being closely monitored by government suits, protected by a gag order, or are we reading too much into the mundane? Well, that was a fantastic read. That was, um, uh, there was uh, two minutes that I won't get back. It was a hot minute. Sorry, no light at the end of this tunnel. Maybe at the top of the tower, bottom of the pit. Top of the morning to you, Billy. Top of the morning and the top of the evening. And the bottom of the night. Let's explore this right side here on our way back. Absolutely nothing. Road checkpoint. Are we gonna find a new tool to break down these? Wait, the tape? Does it mean I can... Alright, oh, I forgot. Forgot I cannot chop it up like a biatch. Wait, this is the darkness again. Oh no, it's not. It's... Ah! fuck is that is the light bad is it the light maybe if we stay too long in the light come stronger oh it's a oh that's why we are at 51 health 
you got to be shitting me. No! Okay, you instantly lose all your health. As soon as it sees you. Think it's gonna shine here any second. Let's see what's in here. Please a reward. <clears throat> Information about person involved in the incident. Uh, incident. Max Nigard. Who is Max? Location of incident on the road next to the Icarus Lighthouse. I thought it was a blown tire at first, but the the asphalt in the road is melting or something truck shopped, stopped short of a few hundred feet and then something happened. There's blood on the paper. He got murdered. Boom! Biatch! Boom, shaka laka. Oh, light is coming. We're good. Can we go in there? I have. Wait, I have more bullets than before. We're doing super fine. Bullet wise, we're doing fine and dandy. Health wise, not very good. Health wise, bad. 40%. 60%. Gonna hide from the sun again. Oh, it's coming. Go, 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 go. Go, go, Gadgetto. Drink a beer. Ho, ho. Screw you with a broomstick, sir. Screw you with two broomsticks. Oh, finally the, the red light is is done. As he climbed higher and higher in the sky, do you think Icarus contemplated? No, I don't. Bye. Oh no, the light. Oh shit. It's still here. It's just the the darkness. I don't want to move forward. I don't have the anti-darkness pills. Look, the Batman anti shark spray. <laughs> it's blocked from the other side. Oh, here. This has to be the entrance. Or, uh, or not. Is it me you're looking for? So how do we get into this thing? Okay, I saw it. From the roof. Maybe from there. I can't carry that much ammo. 
Go down! Go down! God damn it. Mystery deepens in lighthouse fire. On Monday last week, we at the Virgil County Gazette found out that an um, ominous call had been made to local police. The caller on the other side of the line did not identify himself, but after some investigating, we believe it might have been Milton Haven's Alan so Shore, lighthouse operator at the beloved Patmos Bay. Wait, dude, there's this guy outside with the hat. Enduramine. Enduramine, that could be like a sex drug. Oh, you can't fuck your girlfriend anymore? Are your balls all small and shriveled up like a raisin? Don't worry. We at the Rubbody Labs present you in Duramine. You will be able to fuck like there is no tomorrow. But beware if you take too much, you are literally going to fuck everything, including your mom stops me from on a horse. <laughs> She's always on the horse. Oh no, the light. She's always on a whore. As investigating is ongoing, according to Milton Haven's Sheriff's Office, the details of the above-mentioned phone call must remain undisclosed. But this reporter and Homa Mart employee of the month has a knack for getting in trouble in order to get at the truth. More to follow on the next edition of Milton Mysteries. Icarus Lighthouse, authorized to be constructed by President Harrison in 1889, completed in 1891. That's like 140 years, 130 years ago. The cost of 22,300. When the lighthouse was completed, it stood some 300 feet from the edge of the cliff. The sandstone tower is 28 feet in diameter of an octagonal arrow. Who cares? Yeah, right. Who cares? We're all going to die sooner or later, and these facts mean nothing. Are we even sure that you're really standing here reading this? Maybe this is some sort of horrific fever dream. Here at random number 3000, here's a random number. 300,000, Alan Shore was burned alive by the government. Here's, here's a random number. Oh, this is the fucking lighthouse doing the red light. Oh, it went past us and nothing turned red? What? What? I need some enduramine for my schlanger. carry any more of this. There's only so much I can carry. Can you carry? Mariah carry! <laughs> I made the... F <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting... When, I, when I'm drinking, like, the one beer after the gin tonic, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. You have been warned. You do have been warned. We can't go through there because there's a shadow. Danger. No unauthorized entry. Dangerous chemical and biological agents have been detected in this area. An agent Scully and Agent Mulder. A cursed lighthouse which may lead to serious injury, illness, or death. A serious death. What the? Ah, oh, no, no. I'm not here. I was never there. I'm known to be never over there. 
Excuse me, I have to read the note. Please wait a second. This maniac probably melted the keys to all these doors. It's still making noise. All these doors along with his damn house where the management hears about this. It's going to be your ass. My ass? Get someone to go in there and fish them out if they still exist. I'm not seeing a foot in there. Uh, the whole thing seems to be unstable and smells of burnt human flesh. Agent Mu... 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 Botland. Mu... Botland? Mulholland. Mulholland. Agent Mulholland. The Mulholland Drive. Oh, it's coming. Yes, me. So this guy, Alan, is a... Uh, he is making the shadow... I can't open the door! What am I supposed to do? Run around for two and a half years? I don't want to see it. Thank you very much. I don't want to see your schlanger. I know you have one, but it's fine. I have one too. I can look at my own if I need to see one. And the news flash, I never need to see one. <laughs> Do I have to kill him? Is this a boss fight? This is very weird. He's coming and melting stuff into the ground, right? Is he coming all the way over here? Oh! The door's open. Oh! I don't have fuses. Whoa! Excuse me, sir. You are very rude and nasty. Oi, 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 oi. Ho, 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 ho. Should be doing, should be there. Stop it. Please fucking stop it. He's like right on us. Oh, we have to destroy him with the light. You little rascal, you. Got the fuse. Oi, oi, oi. I got one fuse. Second, <laughs> the second fuse is coming again. The little rascal. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it by the ball sack again. I love getting them by the balls. Wait, didn't I get the fuse? Did not get it. Nothing. There's nothing here. Oh my god, this guy is annoying. He evolved into a fucking thing on the floor. This is like all the, the Resident Evil games when they say We've evolved! We've evolved! And then they walk around like this. Oh yeah, he evolved. Wow, I want to evolve into that. Seems to be a great idea. Shit, no, that's not gonna work. No! Don't do touch! Don't touch me, sir. I'm untouchable. Maybe he can lower this thing. Ah! Oh. Wait, I'm losing health. Oh, 
Excuse me, but fuck off. Now I can get it. This has to be the fuse. No, it's fucking fast tonight. Let me take a break for a fucking second. I know where to go. I think. Oh, I can't go here. Oh, it's because I need to get rid of the shadow. Maybe that light has the fuse in it. Quit running. It does not. Does not. No fuse, no cigar. Now it's sucking me in. I can't leave. I don't know where to get the fuse. I mean, I got one out of there. Oh, maybe I can take one out. It's a fuse box. There's three lamps. Two lamps. I don't know what to do! Use light to combat the shade. Maybe I need to put this light, light bulb into... Into this lamp? Oh, he needs to eat this. I mean, eat or whatever. He needs to whatever that. Okay, now we can get in. Vitalix, uh, great, that didn't help us. Fuck you, Mr. Asshole. Wait, why is it still on me? They just walk into their light. A little fascist. Oh, we can't go up the stairs. I'm stuck. How the fuck can I not get over this? Skeleton idiot says what? Do I have to destroy all the cars? It's getting boring! He melted the keys. Along with his damn house. 
get someone in there and fish them out. I can't go into the house because there's a fucking shadow. As soon as I move, the little asshole comes flying. I really don't know what to do. There's... Wait, that one didn't do anything. It's a fuse box. Oh, it broke. It always breaks. I need the fuse here and the fuse over there. There we go, I did it! I'm a genius! Yeah, don't worry, you won't need your eyes where you're going. This house has been burnt down. So he burned himself. We have, we're gonna find the thing that uh, removes the shadow here, I'm pretty sure. Take a look at yourself through the looking glass and see how shrouded in darkness the mind like Alan's. Good be. We got two lanterns. Darkness in the way. I don't want to step any closer. Wait, I can't go back either. Oil, no dice. Take a look. Light my fire. Make it bright. Is this the gas lamp? The oil can. Screw you, darkness. Of all the nightmares I'd had to date, this must be the worst. Oh, he dated lots of nightmares, huh? 